So, um, good morning again. <laughs> um, my name is Katarzyna and this is my uh, friend and student, uh, Olga Świniarska. We present um, uh, our uh, research work, our uh, research about recovering oxides from construction uh, waste. And this will be uh, some analysis of the Polish uh, market. Mm. A few words about again uh, agenda. The first one, I told you a couple of words about circular economy on cement business uh, segment. Next one, uh, why we make this research and present um, and then present to you the main goal of our research. Uh, the next point uh, will be presentation uh, presentation of all case uh, study involved market research, analyze of choose and company data, SWOT analysis, and of course, conclusions. And the, at the end, the short summary uh, I will present. Uh, I think that uh, I do not need to present a definition of a circular economy in uh, such a group, but I can mention um, that the circular economy is uh, over a monthly um, based on closing the cycle of the flow of materials, raw materials and products. Mm, circular economy have seven steps, but in this project, uh, we focused on first step. Uh, so and this is um, acquisition of raw materials. Mm, this paper, um, maybe this um, presentation and all our present uh, pr paper, which we prepare, um, aims to present alternative sources for the production of cement, uh, cement clean gear. So, next slide, please, Luca. So, uh, I, um, I, I, I should uh, uh, tell um, and make um, a proper introduction to uh, following research section. It is necessary to present definition, cement and cement clean gear. Uh, according to the technical definition, uh, cement is uh, a hydraulic binding material obtained from mineral resources by frying and uh, subsequent grinding of the resulting sinter. And cement clinker uh, is um, the, basic, uh, the basic ingredient uh, in the production of cement and uh, is responsible for its sinting. It is produced by frying ingredients at high temperature uh, in, um, in rotary clean. Uh, why are we talking about this topic? Uh, because in 2020, our university, AGH uh, UST, was a uh, organizer of Limbra project, real life problem solving task. I, if I go to remember, this is uh, WP4. Uh, and the main partner, um, to our university and this project was a company uh, that is um, one of the leading manufacturers of cement, uh, aggregates and concentrate uh, in Poland and a leader in the Polish construction uh, market. Um, as a part of uh, RLPS, um, this company, Company X, maybe we can say that, uh, provided a task for um, project participants and um, this task uh, involves one of the cement plants in the uh, in in this uh, uh, company X group. Uh, because of uh, the changing market and um, the expected uh, significantly um, lower production of steel, uh, so this um, is a slack reduction and thermal coal fly ash reduction uh, in Poland in the coming years. Company X uh, is seeking to acquire and uh, use for the production of cement clinker some alternative raw materials uh, containing uh, clay oxide, uh, iron oxide, and uh, decarbonized uh, calcium uh, oxide, um, which um, in the future will replace the materials currently used at the basic raw materials for cement clinking production. So this is the slack and fly uh, ash. Um, so the final task for the participants 
was to propose an alternative uh, mineral raw material for the production of cement clinker, um, together with an indication of the effectiveness and probability of the, of the solution. Uh, here you can see um, algorithm from conducting our research. An algorithm was uh, developed to conduct the work which um, include uh, a market analysis uh, for companies producing construction waste in Poland or its close vicinity. Uh, the next step was, um, was uh, to select the companies that would uh, go on to the future analysis and to choose the key to make first selection of this company list. Uh, the next step was to contact the, the, with these uh, companies uh, and try to obtain data on amount of raw material they have, uh, its origin, uh, composition uh, and price. Um, based on the obtained data, it was necessary to make a numerical analysis, of course, then we make a SWOT analysis, uh, and finally, the, to select the best companies for cooperation. Um, uh, so this uh, first step, the market analysis was divided into three steps. Uh, this was a market analysis, choice the enterprises and acquiring the data. Uh, at this slide, we would like to show the results of this uh, first step. And project group found um, 26 companies involved in the distribution and construction construction waste from Poland and uh, neighboring countries. So on our list, we have uh, we had uh, 15 companies from Poland, six companies from Ukraine, three companies from Germany, and one company from the Czech Republic. Okay, uh, Olga. Yes, and the uh, next one, uh, we should make the first selection. So um, we chose the selection criteria, which was distance from company X to reduce the cost associated with the transportation of the raw materials. Um, product offering of these companies, uh, the information was not always available on the website. So it was necessary to contact them uh, by phone, phone or, or email. Mm, which had to match the demand of the uh, company X in terms of, uh, for example, chemicals uh, composition of the raw material. Mm, after analyzing the criteria, uh, this created list of this uh, criteria in terms of uh, three factors. It turned out that only five companies of this whole 26 um, met the requirements of uh, company uh, X. After analysis um, and contacting uh, selected companies, only three of them uh, met the expectations set by the project team. Um, in order to select the one company that would most reliably uh, meet the requirements of company X and uh, the project uh, team, it was necessary to make simple distance and cost uh, comparison that is shown on the table on the, uh, on the slide. Another criteria uh, for supplier selection was the raw material itself, um, for which uh, the project team created several categories. Um, the first one was the level of um, contamination of the raw material, uh, which uh, other chemicals uh, compounds. Um, the second one was the size of the fa uh, fraction to be delivered. The third one was uh, continuity in the supply of raw material. The most common uh, contamination that eliminates uh, the profitability of uh, purchasing construction waste is the height uh, proportion of red brick in the total, um, total waste. So, uh, as we said, we uh, did some SWOT analysis. Uh, in SWOT analysis is the second uh, key criteria uh, to select the company that most accurately meet the requirements uh, set by the company X and the, uh, the project team. Uh, the name of analysis itself, it's an acronym from the word strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. And um, as we can see, um, the team, uh, project team uh, prepared uh, three 
um, company ABC and uh, that was shown on a few slides um, before and um, this um, company A uh, the key weaknesses um, of the, this company is uh, inability to, to supply continuously due to the, due to the uh, seasonal nature of this of its um, business um, but the second factor with uh, re relatively high uh, proportion in this analysis is opportunity, not only the weaknesses. Uh, the most important of this opportunity is a uh, company's uh, proximity, uh, proximity to major metropolitan areas, which may increase the chance of um, steady supply of raw materials due to the relatively higher volume of demolitions. Uh, the second SWOT analysis is about uh, company B. Here, um, the, um, so the strength and the opportunities uh, are uh, in a dominate factor. Um, the project team identified improved uh, handling of waste material after demolition as some of the, the most important opportunities in this table. Um, Unfortunately, due to the time consuming nature of the cleaning process, uh, company B is uh, threatened by the long waiting time for the material order by customer. So, um, so the, this is uh, the, the, the most important uh, threat for this company B. And the last uh, SWOT analysis for company C, um, the strength of this company is um, uh, our very uh, West experience in the demolition uh, business and its wide range of activities, including demolition. Um, but also the most important opportunities here uh, is uh, closest proximity to the uh, cement plant and the lowest raw material price. So the company C has also um, huge opportunities and um, and strength. And as a conclusion, hello. As a okay, you can see conclusions. Mm, and as a conclusion, uh, circular economy at the present um, is one of the most important development goals for manufacturing enterprises, including heavy industry. After analysis of the market uh, for aggregates from construction waste, um, we concluded that basing raw material intake solely uh, on the indicated source would not meet the quantitative, qualitative, and performance expectations of the company X. Um, due to the failure um, to maintain a constant quality of raw materials and the lack of continuity in supplies construction waste cannot be treated as a substitute source of a raw material to product uh, cement and cement clean care the only way to use this source efficiently is to order raw materials at the time of uh, increased production volumes and treat it as a backup source and um, we would like to thank you for your attention and if there will be any uh, further questions please don't hesitate to ask them later <laughs>